On the road, yeah, back again. And today, as you can see, my windscreen is a lot cleaner than it was last time round, and I haven't even taken it through a car wash. That's money safe, people. Screw the system. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it's better than it was. Progress. Anyway, today, we're going into the Football League. It's the first time we've done so this season after celebrating non league so much. We're off to Peterborough. Peterborough United, to be exact, who were founded in 1934. They play their football at the Western Home Stadium, which has a capacity of 15,314. Now, their nickname is Posh, and it's my duty today to find out if the area of Peterborough is actually posh. More on that in a bit, but I just want to quickly say thank you to any one that has subscribed to the channel and haven't done so already we're trying to hit 100k can you help me do that it'll be much much appreciated click the subscribe button click the bell to be notified when a new video is out and you'll be helping my ugly mug turn that frown upside down you actually did it last time around remember when i went to tunbridge angels in the previous video <laughs> Ah, uh, you got to check it out. Brilliant place, brilliant place. Well, I only went and asked for 6,000 likes, didn't I? I even put a cheeky one in there and said, if I get 10,000, I'll go up north. And so you replied, didn't you? You did. 12 bloody thousand likes, you absolute animals. Looks like I'm going up north. I mean, anywhere above Luton, to be honest, is north for me. Bloody southerners, eh? So yeah, don't worry, I won't be classing this as a northern video. But what I will be doing, based on the fact that I know you're there, let's have 10,000 likes for this, please. Go on, click it. And now that all that YouTube stuff is out of the way, let's crack on with this video. So if you're an on the road regular, you know the score. We're here in my old manor in Grays. But the windscreen seems to have got a little bit more dirty. What's that say? And we approach the width restriction that nobody wants to go through apart from me and these people over the other side. Actually, we're ahead of schedule. Normally at the red light, I'm talking about the YouTube stuff. Subscribe, like, and all that jazz. They tell you to, trust me. So with that in mind, I'll just skip and we enter this complex. You know the complex and my windscreen's getting really dirty as we look to pick up our guest for today. You won't find a more patient person than me. It's paid off because here is our guest. It's going all weird. Like, why doesn't it... Oh, I can see you now. I am too handsome for the camera. Hello. Hello. So Charlie has joined us. I'm just checking our route up to Peterborough. And according to Saturday's Navius, it's going to take an hour and 56. Let's go. So to start things off, we've got traffic and a bus on a Saturday. Then we've got to take the first left to get on the bloody A13. And would you look at that? We're on the bloody A13. Not for long. Next left, we're taking the M25. And would you look at that? We're on the M25. Nothing special. Just another road. But it did start bloody raining. Next up, we've been told to take the M11 for the north. We're not going up north though. Yep, on the M11. It's, it's just another road. With traffic, might I add. That's got to be said. The further north we head, the better the weather becomes. And the signs are loving it. Having a proper rave. On the left here, we've been told that Bedford's nearby. More importantly, Cambridge. Things are getting posh. So posh that we took the VIP lane, you know. But then it started raining. And then it brightened up. First sign of Peter, bruh. Just keep heading north. But a reminder, it ain't up north. So it's Navius is currently pointing us to a place called Yaxley. I'll have to remember that one for Scrabble next time. Give us move, you can't use names or places. Psh, where you been? The rules were changed back in 2010. It was the first time it happened in the history of Scrabble to allow the use of proper nouns. Place names, people's names, and company names or brands will now count. Get with the times, Frederick. Stuart in front definitely needs a vow or two. Definitely going in the right route for Yaxley, though. Do you think he knows about it? Of course he does. We've just hit Yaxley and he's driven straight in. Where it's raining. Yep. In other headlines, Aldi lorry turns left into Aldi. Peter police on the hunt for pink-haired women who refuse to use the footpath. And finally, two men from Essex take a wrong turn and find themselves on an unfinished housing estate. This and all the other headlines tonight at 10. <laughs> Now, as I wait these lights, we definitely are in Peterborough. I mean, look at the suit. I mean, sure, it's pretty boxy. Probably could have got a slimmer fit, but hey, posh. As you can quite clearly see, there is a football stadium on the left, and people are heading towards it. It is, of course, the Western Home Stadium, which has a capacity of... No, we've done that bit. The thing we're currently looking for is a parking space. Let's wrap around the side of the stadium here and see if we can find something. And find something we did. We took an immediate right at Fairfield Road, and just a little further down, we spotted a church on the left. We asked two of the men that were standing there if we could park our car in there. We'll give you a ten minutes for the church. Ah, yeah. Yeah, oh, you're a legend. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. That legend went by the name of Bill, not his real name. We're now parked in the church, or the bush. As I take my first step into Peterborough, I realise that it's not that posh. As you can see, we're a stone's throw from the ground. Who made that up? Because I couldn't throw a stone that far. Meanwhile, we're early and Charlie's got a dilemma. We're early, and I've, the biggest decision I've got to make is whether I'm bringing this jacket with me or not. What do you reckon? Vote in the poll above. Waste, but is that too much waste time? Just waiting for them to vote, that's all. Still voting? Yeah. And if they're not on YouTube, like if they're not on the YouTube app, I don't think the poll would come up either, so we might be waiting a long time. Yeah. Should we just, just take Should it? Go? Just take it just in case. So Charlie said, money to the church. Sorry, Bill, how much is it again? Five will do for you. Five pound on parking and to the church. Happy days. Or so we thought. I've since realised, thanks to peterbrewimages.co.uk, that this church ain't been open since 2010, which means it ain't a fiver to the church, it's a fiver to Bill's back pocket. I've just done that thing where I forgot my phone. So back to the car to get the phone, which I did. Look at it, it's Ben in his Bentley. He's about to increase the value of Bill's back pocket, but more importantly, Peter Brew is posh again. Now it's back out with Charlie and Bill. They're on the hunt for a cash point. Found a cash point, got the cash. 
Now, early observations suggest that people like eating outside the ground. It's definitely a thing. Definitely, definitely a thing. You can blame me when you got Baba Luigi's outside. They do everything you need, including a tub of Donna meat. Never heard it referred to as that. What I visualized was this. Not bad for three quid. So as we have a little look around, Charlie is attracted by this giant dartboard. He really wants to go. Like, really wants to go. Charlie, not today, mate. Leave it to the kids. Further on, we found a band. Sign them up. Anyway, that was enough. And now we're going in. Electronically. That's 20 pounds spent on this League One tie between Peterborough and Wimbledon. Little known fact, sometimes we do it in the moment. If asked kindly, please do not smoke in this area. I mean, do you not read? They said please. Ah, that's my favourite time of day, food and or drink. I don't know what it is, but when I see food presented like this on menus, it doesn't bode well for the quality of the food. No, but look, let's not write it off too early. Charlie has though, just a beer for him. No vegetarian option. For me, a burger and a drink combo, that's five pound. Also come with a free fag, but that's a cigarette for anyone outside the UK. Ugh. A brioche bun, aren't we lucky? Got to look at the positives, but that's... um. It's a very pale burger. You know, I think Charlie's face sums it up. Not great. Oh, look, it's Vanity on the Road videos. It's Dev. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Anyway, I'm munching my pale burger and Charlie's judging me still. Obviously, no Dr. Pepper either. Never a good thing. Now, I did not know that Logan Paul was a Peterborough fan. Oh, Jake Paul's there too. As Dev reveals his burger, is it pale? Well, I don't know. He's gone straight in there with the upside down tactic too. Like it. Dev, show us your burger. Ooh. The side by side look would suggest that a lot more dedication has gone into Dev's burger. Well, I can only rate you on what I've eaten. I'm done with this. Hello, mate. How you been? Then we're going to head into the ground. And this right here be our view. <laughs> Very helpful digital scoreboard up there, complete with time until kickoff feature. Which is fantastic, because I now know how long it is till kickoff, you know? Here's Gary not using the provided cutlery with his pie. Peter was posh, then it wasn't, then it was. And now it's not, is it, Peter? Burrow. Absolute hooligan swinging his carrot around there. That's not a euphemism. As always, big shout out to the groundsman for making the beautiful game look beautiful. Can't work out if they're straight out of Jurassic Park or Ghostbusters, though. I'll keep you updated on the situation with the stewards, but at the moment, it doesn't seem like there's anyone in there. Here, yeah, Dave. 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 Dave, Dave, the pitch is on fire. Uh, don't worry yourself, Dave. It's all under control. Hello, mate. How you doing? Now, would you look at that? I'm impressed. Digital scoreboard with time until kickoff feature is now turned into CCTV. And because of that, half the Peter squad look like they're on Crime Watch. That's worth pointing out we're in the London Road Terrace today. That's right, we're standing at a football league game. It's bringing one of the best parts of non-league straight through to the football league. Well done, Peterborough. As we move on, teams are on their way out. Now, I did ask about the mascot. Now, I don't know if this is absolutely correct. But you've heard of Peter Rabbit, haven't you? And rabbits, they live in burrows, don't they? And this is Peter Burrow. Peter Burrow, Peter Burrow. Other than that, I really don't think there's another link. That looks like we're pretty much ready to go in this one. The real Wimbledon in the green. Peter in the blue and this right here is a kickoff first off we start with a song and a drum <laughs> It's in Charlie's happy. West Ham have gone 1-0 up against Bournemouth. They must do their thing when they see someone with a new JD bag. Check to see if they're wearing what they just bought. Like we said, Tom's Converse are in good nick. Possibly. Sticking with fashion for a moment. We've got a contest for the skinniest jeans. It's Callum versus Charlie. Who wins? You decide. It should also mention that Bournemouth have just equalised. Oh dear. Talking of goals though. Marcus Madison, come on down. Yeah! Woo, woo, woo. Individual scoreboard, Marcus Madison with a goal, 28 minutes gone. Following that, there was a free kick. Oh. And another free kick. Oh. And another chance. My wife, sir. Come on down. Sir, claim the man in the match award just for that alone. Stick that on your shelf at home, son. That's 2-0 to the posh. Not much happened after that, other than the digital scoreboard telling us that it was four additional minutes. They quickly changed that to three additional minutes. Nothing happened there either, which means it's half time. Gotta give another shout out to these two. They are loving life. Whilst keeping the beautiful game looking beautiful. Stick your hands up if you love the on the road series. Peter subs. Too kind. Far too kind. Now, first half views, I must admit, was a little bit restricted. We've gone to the back row this time. Centre. We should be able to see a little bit more of the game. However, time for some half-time entertainment. Simply hit the ball from here. Maybe a little bit nearer in if you're 12 years old or under. Into the skip over there. Now, Inside scoop, groundsmen aren't happy with skips being brought onto the pitch. Either way, if anyone's going to get it in, my money's on this clown. Now, being back row, I can turn around and get a nice view of Peterborough. It's not posh. Now, we will consider KFC on the way out. Well, I will anyway. In other news, Mario Kart is out on mobile. Let me know what you think. It will never beat the SNES version. For those that don't know what that is, it's a Super Nintendo entertainment system. Now, obviously, we move. Charlie doesn't know where we are, despite making absolute eye contact with us. Handsome man, blind as a bat. He hasn't got a clue. Pretty much looked at us again there. He just, he just doesn't know. Anyway, thanks to this guy in the background. Didn't catch his name, but he knew Charlie was looking for Smith. And I most definitely just referred to myself in third person. I do apologize. 
realised. Oh, it won't happen again. So Smith has just realised that this lot have just got it completely wrong. They're sitting in the terrace. They should be sitting in the stand. Although well, I'm going to start a campaign soon to rename the stand as we know it as the sit. You sit in the sit and you stand in the stand. Also, with our new location, we've got a better view of Flag Girth. 10 out of 10, no chip alarms around here. What do you look at? Charlie's putting up an Instagram image. I need to do that. And I will, but the real win we're doing around. As are the real pity bro, known as posh, but not posh. And I know for today, checking if there's any holes in the net. Of course there are. There's plenty. And I don't even need to debate this. Just look at him. He is definitely a human ruler. As straight as a, well, ruler. So we kicked off the second half, and up goes my Instagram image, back of it, and the real Wimbledon take a chance. <laughs> He's straight through to keep his legs. The real Wimbledon are back in the game. Dev's thoughts on that sums it up. And Charlie can't sum it up. He just, just can't. As usual, thanks to everyone that dared me to put their comment in the video. Hopefully you see it there. Meanwhile, Dev's doing his shoelace up. I've got to admit, when I watch someone else do their shoelace up, it looks very complicated. Seamless, but complicated. I can also do my shoelace up. And because of that, I feel like I've really achieved something in life. Dave next to us, though. He's ahead of the game. Just the slip ones for him. Following those observations, we have an injury. Anyway, outside the ground, Gavin, not at the game today. Heading straight for Papa Luigi. Yeah, and that guy that does the YouTube videos on the rolled ones. Has he been here before? Nobody's here somewhere today. Oh. Right. Obviously on Twitter I said that I was coming to this game. Mr. Mania is challenging to mention the word shelf. Already done it, mate. Already done it. Obviously, the posh have been the better team in this game. The real Wimbledon very much in it at 2-1 unless Ivan Tony can score. Oh! He couldn't. But I'm going to let you know. Baller. Along with Madison and obviously Mo Iser as well. Some decent attacking options at the posh, which isn't posh. Here's Ivan Tony causing trouble again. A couple of step overs. Flashes wide, though. Oh! Trying to put the game to bed. Crowded behind them. Let's see if it works. <laughs> One to the posh now. That's my wife's on a hat trick. And this lot are happy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, following in that third goal, I can confirm that Justice for Stewart's at Peterborough is a thing. Talking to Peterborough, Peter Burrow, he's buzzing. And then for some reason, it got really quiet. <laughs> and then this happened. Somehow, some way, real Wimbledon back in the game. 12th man must be a thing down at Peterborough. Real Wimbledon fans, they're very happy with that. Here comes another chance for Peterborough. <laughs> Despite there being only a goal in it and under a little bit of pressure, you've got players like Ivan Tony showing composure. Oh. But real Wimbledon, they want an equaliser. Oh. But Peterborough, they want to put it to bed again. Oh. That was the chance, not only that, but a hat trick for Moasa, not to be today. Finally, towards the end of this game, we do see the true form of our Lino, and yes, he is a human ruler. As the final whistle looms, this lot want to beat the rush. And talking to the final whistle, here we go. Yeah. So, of course, that brings us to the end of this one. Should we rate this experience? Uh, let's. And as always, you should know by now, we always start with atmosphere. Now, I did see a few comments about Peter fans who obviously aren't posh. We know that now. I've been told the atmosphere isn't that great. And that may well be the case, but for this particular visit, I thought they were brilliant. Not the best. Not the loudest. They were certainly up there, weren't they? I'm going to give them four stars. Next up, we're talking facilities. I actually really, really like this place. It was an old school ground, which I love, of course. It's in the football league, but also has a terrace for you to stand at, as I mentioned before, bringing non-league through. It's what football used to be. And for just that reason alone, it's looking good for Peter, isn't it? Another four stars. Could they possibly top the table? No, they can't because the food. I mean, what's going on with my pal burger? Where's Charlie's vegetarian option? And most importantly, where's the bloody Dr. Pepper? In all honesty, the burger wasn't too bad. Three-star burger in taste. Knock half a star off a lack of Dr. Pepper. We're at two and a half stars. It's, it was all right. Straight down the middle. Finally, we're talking cost. Was it value for money? Yeah, of course it was. The fact that the ticket was only £5 more than certain non-league clubs. We saw some great goals and it was an end-to-end -end game towards the end. Another five are spent on food and drink. Yeah, I was pretty happy with the prices. Another four stars for Peter, bro. Well done. So, of course, where's that put them in the table? Well, a very respectable 14 and a half stars. Sees them sit in eighth position, sandwiched between Maidstone United and my lot, Tottenham, in alphabetical order. Of course. So yeah, very good day as the dedicated grounds been clear up. Some appreciation from the players to the fans and the fans to the players. As this place empties out, a fan of the on the road videos, Owen, he's brought me a Dr. Pepper. And honestly, I really, really appreciate it, but I can't be changing the score. Also, I bumped into another fan of the on the roads. It's Joe from Ticketing. Hi. Hello. Thanks for the chat, mate. Appreciate it. That then led to us leaving the ground, at which point we bumped into another fan of the on the road videos. It's Nathan. Hi. Hiya. So it's time to leave Peter, bro, which isn't posh. But first. Yeah. <laughs>
Bill. He's Papa Luigi. Charlie, a very happy man with your cheesy chips. As we make our way back to the car, we almost got locked in. Bill was just closing up, although he did leave a friendly note. I'll tell you what, they look good. How many people are going to go and get cheesy chips now? Good consistency. So as we leave the church, which isn't a church, nice one, Bill. Thank you very much. I don't mind the money going in your back pocket. You're providing the service. There you have it. We are out of here. Back on Roots Walls London. If you enjoyed this, show your appreciation by dropping a like. We want 10,000, don't forget. Also, if you enjoy the on the road videos and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please help me hit 100k. If you're new to the channel, you can do the same. Also, catch up on previous videos in the on the road playlist. Go on binge. Coming to Netflix soon. Anyway, yeah, once again, thank you for all your support on the channel. Keep it up. It's much, much appreciated. And of course, as always, I will see you in the next one.